Zach, player coach of the year? I think uh, we got to go with the little Peaches and Kareen, Tom <laughs> Kareen. You know, he's uh, related uh, to the Harbaugh. Well, he's with the Harbaugh's sister, so uh, I think that will rub off on him, and he'll do coach of the year. All right, I'm, I'm going with Zach for the Peaches and Kareen comment. You're getting five points. And Steph, I agree. Victor Oladipo, great player, fun name to say. I'm going to give you five for that as well. Let's move on from the hardwood to the baseball diamond as spring training well underway now for all teams, including the Milwaukee Brewers. Some very interesting storylines in the NL Central and as well as just right in the, in the dugout for the Milwaukee Brewers. A lot of stories brewing. I'm not going to set anything up. I want you guys to take the conversation where you want. Steph, we'll start the Brew Crew chatter with you. I think that um, Carlos Gomez has to step up as a great player that he was supposed to be or has the potential to be. I mean, he's telling Ryan Brown that he can run a 3 7 yard dash. And that is insane, but maybe he can. Um, he's, he's, as a hitter, he's definitely uh, improved a little bit. He, last year he had 19 home runs and 37 stolen bases, so I think he needs to step up. But also our, our bullpen and our starting pitching has looked horrible last year. I mean, the guys that we thought were going to be the starting pitchers just slacked off, even the bullpen. I mean, we an all-time worst year yeah. for just about everybody in that bullpen. Oh We've yeah. seen they retooled it. On paper, it looks good. Will it? Will it falter again? You know, it's all about pressure. I mean, if you can handle the pressure, but I mean, who knows? It's baseball season. There's 152 mm -hmm. games. You never Zach, know what's going to happen. Zach, what do what do the Brewers do about their situation at first base? Corey Hart gone till at least May, and yeah. nobody else to fill in now that Matt Gamble's down. Yeah, I mean, you got Taylor Green first base. I mean, anyone could play first base pretty much. Corey Hart did it last year, as you can see, and did a pretty good job. Uh, yeah, you could put anyone. I mean, Gonzalez isn't, I mean, with Gene Segura playing shortstop, maybe him at first, or you can slide around. Uh, they had a catcher at first uh, last year a few times. Uh, I forgot his name off the top of my head. He went to the A's, but uh, yeah, he played first base. Uh, Katar has played first sometimes, so I think first base isn't going to be a big deal as long as, you know, the pitching doesn't stink. Haley, like do you agree year. or do you think there is a void there at first base? I mean, I definitely think it's an issue right now. I have heard rumors that it looks like Hunter Morris is going to come up from Double uh, A, and possibly he would be the best option for first base right now. He's been with the Brewers since 2010, posted 28 homers and 113 RBIs in Huntsville, and he could possibly be an option that the Brewers are looking for, as well as um, I've also heard that Mike Carp um, from the Mariners might come to the Brewers and possibly be an option, although they said that he strikes out quite a bit, so that could possibly hurt the Brewers, but I think that they're, that's definitely a problem that they're going to have to address early on in the season. Grayson, I've heard you talk of Hunter Morris. Do you think the kid's a little too young to be ready to perform at the, at the big league level? He's only played at double A. I agree. I feel he might be too young. I would like to see them slide him up there just to give him some experience. He, again, as Steph just said, he posted 28 home runs. He also had 117 RBIs. He does, did strike out about 84 times, but his plate discipline's improving. His fielding's improving. He was named the best fielding first baseman in the top Southern League. He's just getting better across the board in a few years. He's going to be a great power lefty, an above-average defender, I believe, at first base. That'll be a bit well, we'll be able to plug him in for years to come. Get Haley, him. Grayson, good points on Hunter Morris. I'm going to give you each five. Zach, I couldn't disagree with you more. It, you can't just plug anybody in Did it at last first year. base. It's not that easy. It's not that. Go play first base then. Zach. I could. I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a quick look at the points breakdown through round one. As a matter of fact, let's instead go to Perfect Pets. We'll take a look at the points breakdown when we come back on the other side of the break. You're tuning in to Sports Scene. Meet Zima, a one-year-old house-trained husky mix. She's very fun, curious, and loves to play ball. Cue the music, it's symphony. She's a one-year-old tabby mix cat that loves affection, lounging around, and will cuddle into your heart. Here's Jiffy, a two-year-old short-haired cat. He's very gentle and dashingly handsome with a sweet personality to love. Meet Maxwell, a 10-month-old beagle mix who likes to have fun. 
He's very social, loves toys, and wants to show off his new tricks. To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. Again, the phone number for the Humane Society is 781-4014. Welcome back into Sports Scene. Let's take a quick look before we begin round number two at the results from round number one. We have a massive tie, a log jam right now. Every competitor with 10 points. Round number two, I will be offering out 10 points to each competitor if I agree. And round two is a very special and sensual time because it's time to role play. First joining us on the stage is a Hall of Fame quarterback, Tom Brady. You signed a $27 million three-year contract extension, which for you is chump change. Why did you sign this deal which paid you well below what you're worth? You know, Nick, I am glad that I signed the contract. I really think that I've been in the Patriots organization for a long time now, and I would like to be able to retire as a Patriot. And I think that once in about five years, that will probably be it. And I've won some Super Bowls already. I've been in a few other ones, and I've won, um, been in a couple um, AFC championships. But I would just like to uh, keep the or be able to take the pay cut and get some free agents on um, like Wes Welker, keep him on. So you want Wes Welker back yeah, in the Patriots? Yeah, I definitely uniform. want Wes Welker back. I mean, he's my big target. 113 catches last season. I mean, he's he's the target I want to go to. You said five more years, Tom. How many Super Bowls will you win by the time you retire in these next five years? You know, I would really hope to win as many Super Bowls as I can. I think I can guarantee at least one, but that depends on how many uh, free agents we can get back, Welker, Vollmer, uh, Danny Woodhead. Otherwise, I also uh, think that Rob Gronkowski returning will be big to our success next year. Final question quickly, Tom. Why do you do everything Giselle tells you to do? You know, I love her. I want to have a bunch of kids with her. <laughs> few more once the season's over so you know i just gotta listen to everything she says ten, 10 points to tom brady for for being honest about the way he feels about his supermodel wife let's move on because tom brady isn't the only celebrity athlete we have up here we have a coach as well brad stevens a fine looking young gentleman sir you're within two wins of a very significant milestone the most wins in an ncaa coach's first six seasons right now you're 161 and 46 you're tied with nc state's everett chase and pittsburgh's jamie dixon holds the all-time record 163 wins in his first six coach stevens where do you rank right now amongst the best coaches coaching in ncaa currently well, you know what, Nick? First off, thanks for having me. And second, I don't like to think about that. You know, all, all I'm focused about here at Butler is winning basketball games and getting to the tournament and bringing championship here to Butler. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to keep pressuring you, Coach. I know you would have an answer like that. Very good coach speak. Butler plays in the Atlantic 10 and formerly the Horizon League, not exactly power conferences. Does this make your win total less significant when compared to those that were playing in the ACC and Big East? Well, I know there's a lot of people that argue that, but then you also have to look at the talent pool that's around us. I mean, my 2013 class, I have four three-star prospects in it right now that are confirmed and signed, and none of them are ranked higher than 34th. I mean, I'm able to do it in a lower league. However, when we get to the tournament, we're making the Final Four, and we've been to the championship game before with the talent that we have. It's just a bunch of guys that buy into our system and we go out there and we just compete until that final buzzer rings. Doesn't matter where you come from, it matters where you're heading, right? Exactly. Next question, Coach. Will you ever leave Butler? No, I love the fans here. I love the school. I love the athletes I'm able to recruit. I'm getting great guys all around and they can come in, they buy into the system and we just keep winning games. It's the ultimate place to coach. You're predicting a Final Four appearance for Butler this year? I won't say that. I'm predicting we'll make the tournament and we'll make uh, some people frustrated when we bust their back brackets. Very good. Thank you very much, Coach Stevens, and good luck as you approach your milestone. Thank you. Next up, the Black Mamba, another Hall of Famer <laughs> joining the sports scene set. Kobe Bryant, coming out of the All-Star break, you proclaimed that your Lakers will make the playoffs. Your bid fell. You, you, you bid. You, you fell short of your 500 bid last night with a loss in Denver. Your team was run up and down the court. Paul Gasol is gone. Dwight Howard's a work in progress and injured. 
Steve Nash isn't getting any younger. Kobe.